Hey, let me tell you something. Inside my Inner Circle membership, we have an inspirational solo of the month and there's a prize challenge every month. And often the challenge involves just improvising with a simple pentatonic scale or a blues scale. Now, the thing that I notice all the time is that nobody has got any real blues language. It's just really noodly on that pentatonic. So on this week's free online saxophone lesson, I'm going to give you five awesome blues licks that I want you to commit to memory and start learning in the various keys that you play in to make your blues playing sound really cool. Sound good? All right, let's do it. The first blues lick is by ace blues sax player Rusty Bryant from the iconic track Fire Eater. It starts at 2 minutes and 46, this particular lick, and it's in the key of A minor for tenor in the key in which it was performed. Sounds like this. A one, two, three, four, uh. I'll do that again. A one, two, three, four, uh. Now, the devil is very much in the detail with these blues licks, okay? It's super important that you get the groove, and in particular, you get the phrasing. Now, I am just in the process of finishing off a complete course, Phrase Like a Pro, based on phrasing. So, this is going to teach you everything you know. It's really going to sort you out, but at the time of filming, it's not ready yet. All right, that's Rusty Brian. I'm going to recap all the licks at the end in one go. Don't worry, but let's now move on to lick number two. If you want to get a PDF of all these blues licks in the key that they're played in and in the key of C, so you've got a reference, just use the link that you can see there below. You can click the link in the description as well. You fill in your email address for free, you will get that PDF. Okay, lick number two is by the one and only Grover Washington Jr. I'm sure you know the song, Mr. Magic. It's absolutely awesome. Go to 7 minutes 57, the brass are doing the stabs, and he plays this lick in the background behind there. So, here is lick number two. This is what it sounds like. One. Two, a one, two. Okay, I'll play that one again. I'm doing quite a fast four in this one, okay? A one, a two, a one, two. This lick is by an awesome sax player that I absolutely love, Junior Walker, and it's from his track Monkey Jump, go to 24 seconds. It's actually the head, it's not even a solo. Um, originally it's in A minor, it's got a fantastic feel, and this is what it sounds like. A one, two, three. <laughs> I'll play that again for you. A one, two, three. As I mentioned before, the groove and the phrasing are key. So make sure you go and check out that original track and copy exactly what Junior Walker does. All the little bends, the scoops, the ghosted notes, the long notes, the short notes, getting it right in the pocket. That is the only way that you're going to sound really convincing on these blues licks, believe me. Now, don't forget, you can get the free PDF, which has got all these licks written in uh, the original key and in C minor. You just use the link there or click the link in the description. Okay, so that is three examples from uh, fantastic blues players. But I'm also going to throw in a bonus two for number four and five, which are just kind of uh, generic blues licks. So let's move on to lick number four. A one, two, three, four... So again, this one's got a kind of faster four. Really, it would be a half-time feel. So it's a one, two, three, four, one, two, do, 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 do. And, you know, I'm definitely not the greatest singer, as you can tell, but it's a really good idea to sing these licks first before you play them so that you can get the phrasing dialed in. Do, 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 do. Because if you can't sing it, then you've got absolutely no chance of being able to play it properly, all right? So I wrote it in E minor. It fits quite nicely in that key, but uh, put it in the key, which is going to suit you. Right, let's move on to the last lick now. A one, two, three. So that's your last lick. And again, it's one of these generic ones. It's not really attributable to anything I've transcribed. If you're paying attention, you'll notice a common thread to, through many of these licks, and that is that the flat five of that minor blue scale goes to the four, and you smudge it. Boom, ba, ba. And that is one of the key areas of the blue scale that you really want to develop if you want to sound good when you're using the um, pentatonic blue scale. So now you've got your five licks. What I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna stick a groove on, I'm gonna put them all in um, C minor, let's say, and I'm gonna play them, <laughs> I'm gonna play them in a row so you can see how they all so how they all fit together uh, in one particular tempo. Now the idea is you, you then be able to adapt this to any tempo and any groove. Um, and it's you know it takes a little bit of uh, a little bit of time to work out how to crowbar these licks in, but you'll get there if you if you know the licks really well. So let's see what they all sound like one after the other in the same key. <laughs> So that gives you an idea of what the licks all sound like in one key over one groove. And you can see that once you've magpied all these licks and put them all together, they sound pretty wicked. And by the way, I forgot to mention earlier, if you're wondering something unusual about my setup today, which you're probably not, it's because I'm using a three and a half Van Doren Blue Box bass clarinet reed on my tenor. Why? People who are really geeky will know this. Who uses Blue Box Van Doren three and a half uh, bass clarinet reads on their saxophone, the one and only Lenny Pickett. And we were lucky enough to have him inside the inner circle on Wednesday. And you can still get the replay to that absolutely incredible session by joining the inner circle. You'll see the link there. And oh my golly gosh, there is so much more incredible stuff inside the inner circle to boot. And you get a free seven day trial. <laughs> that is all I've got time for this week. I really hope you enjoyed the lesson. And believe me, get these licks under control and you're going to sound so much better when you're playing funky, bluesy, pentatonic type music. Take it from Teach. <laughs> There's a free PDF that I mentioned before. You can use the link that you can see right there. You can always buy me a cup of Joe. A little bit of coffee goes a long way. Hey, look, this time I've got the branded mug. Sacks up your Sunday. By the way, I never talk about it, but you can also get merch. There's a link down in the description for my merch. You can't get this yet. That's super exclusive. But you can get mugs and t-shirts and lots of other cool stuff. Phone cases, um, whatever. So go and check out the merch. Until next week, <laughs> I'll be back for more awesome uh, online saxophone lessons. Of course, I am press saxophonist Jamie Anderson. You've been watching Get Your Sax Together. And until next week, practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. Take it easy. You've got to get the slurs. You've got to get the... This is really sh**. Four, one, two, do that. Do, 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 do. That was completely out of tune, guys. Completely out of 